Hallelujah. What a wonderful message from the Lord that uh, God will provide everything to us. If we are faithful and obedient to the Lord, whatever happens, God will provide everything to you. Because all of us who serve the Lord, we are ambassador. Ambassador for the Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. And uh, even uh, animals can use by God to support us. That's why uh, we would be amazed if uh, all the help that comes from above, God will use anybody or anything to provide us. So the message today is very, is very helpful for all of us. If you understand, we need to receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior because without Jesus Christ, we cannot receive anything from God. Amen. As the Bible study says from the minister uh, Melissa, we need to study all the scripture because it is inspired by God, useful for us, for teaching, reproof, correction, training in righteousness. So that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. We need to be equipped for every good work. We are not only going to church to sit down and listen to the Word of God. We need to learn and we need to share the Word of God. We need to bring more people to Christ for salvation. That's why it's very important today that we understand here and worldwide we need to receive Jesus Christ to accomplish the work of Jesus Christ in our lives. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's uh, bow down. If you are watching outside and here, even if you are believers, we need to repent because knowingly and unknowingly, we sin against God in thoughts, in words, and in deeds. That's why we need to repent for all our sins daily. Hallelujah. So everybody, uh, open your heart to for surrender to our Lord and Jesus, Jesus Christ. And let us pray for a simple prayer. Heavenly Father, I repent for all my sins. I am a sinner. I believe that Jesus Christ died for me on the cross. And Jesus Christ, after three days, resurrected. The same Spirit that resurrected Jesus Christ is my hope for my resurrection in the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now that I receive Jesus Christ, I believe also that I am forgiven of all my sins. And it's a double benefit for all of us. Once we are saved, we are also healed from all our sickness and diseases. Just pray to God in the name of Jesus. And believe that you receive your healing and you would be healed because you are now a new creation in Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. And I declare that all of you who receive Jesus Christ, you are now a new creation and you are uh, qualified to partake uh, our uh, communion today. Hallelujah. It says in 2 Corinthians 5.17, if anyone, 17, if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. You are forgiven. Everything has, be, has become new. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we are going to partake the, the Lord's Supper. Praise the Lord. But uh, before we, we are going to partake the Lord's Supper, we need, we need to examine ourselves. As we did uh, a minute ago, that uh, we repent for all our sins. Now, directly we could uh, partake the Lord's Supper. Hallelujah. Amen. It says in uh, 1 Corinthians 11, verse 23 to 24, for I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus on the, on the night when he was betrayed took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's partake. 
in verse 25, in the same manner, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let's partake. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glorify your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And now we're we, we going to give a victory song to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please. 